Hello everybody, I'm GG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we are going to finish off our chest locker plugin. To get started we first need to create a new event handler which will handle off uh, the clicking on the chest, so on player click chest, which will be a player interact event of course, interact event E, and what we want to do is if E.getAction.equals action dot right click block then what we want to do is if e dot get clicked block dot get type equals material dot chest and of course we then want to set the event to cancelled and just as the same as the above dot get player dot open inventory open locker and exactly the same e dot get player E dot get click block dot get location okay so as you know we already have something over here with config code and code that will check if the locker uh, that will just save the locker's location and uh, link it to the code but what we also can do is we can first check if uh, plugin dot get config uh, contains the config code which means which means that uh, the chest has already been stored before then we can just return we do not have to save a new code um, yeah after that we of course need to check if the config code so uh, is equal to the code so if the code that's stored in the config so if plugin dot get config dot get string config code so this is the code that's stored to the uh, locker in our case equals code so if it's uh, if it's that then what we want to do is we want to uh, separate the int so first we want to get int x integer dot parse int because we know the location since we have uh, put it after locker over here so what we can do is we can split config code config code dot split on those slashes that we use and we can first take the first, because Java starts at zero, that's why it's a zero over here. And that will be our X coordinate, and the Y and the Z, just do them like copy paste, that's the easiest. Over here a one, and over here a two. And then what we want to do, is we want to get the location, so location lock equals E dot get who clicked dot get location. That will be the player's location, but it will also get the world the player is in currently so to fix it we're just gonna set the X this might not be the best method but it's uh, kinda the shortest one let's set Y and location dot set Z and over here we can just say um, inventory inf so chest inventory equals and then we are going to cast it to a chest because since we know the block is a chest because we checked it uh, up above and a locker can only be a chest we're going to do bucket dot get world and we are going to get uh, the location dot get world dot get name this will get the world the player is currently in what we are then going to do is to get the block at or location or location lock and get block state since we know it's a chest and to get a chest out of a block so to parse or to cast a block to a chest you need to get the block state and not the block itself so we're going to get state and out of here we are going to get block inventory you first need to import it get block inventory and what we are going to do then is either get who clicked but open inventory chest inventory and that's actually it for the last part of uh, this plugin the chest locker it's really easy to now check since we made it like this, it's really easy to just check uh, whether the code is already in the config and whether it, uh, yeah, it's equal to the code we just put in and then we open the chest at the inventory. So let's go and take a look at this at the server. See you over there. We're inside Minecraft now, start of the server. Let's go take a look at what we have created. And as you can see, I have a chest in my hand. I will place it over here. I will put in the code of 4 times 0 except... Uh, I still did not make it so that it closes the inventory, I'm sorry. And if I now try to open the inventory, I need to put in a code. If I do two times, it won't do nothing. But if I do it four times, not five, 
it will open up the inventory I can put something in there and open it up again and as you can see it's still there okay that's it for today's episode I hope you enjoyed if you did leave a like if you want to see more subscribe if you got any feedback or suggestions down below in the comment section or in the description box you will find a link to the discord channel which you can ask any question you like even if it's not bucket related you can also ask questions about Java hope you enjoyed thanks for watching see you next time bye <laughs>